Hey everyone, uh, this is my update uh, on my space management incremental game for this week. Um, kind of a light week progress wise. Um, sort of got into the weeds on some visual aesthetic stuff um, that I got pretty excited about and ended up just doing a bunch of pixel art and, and visual effects and things like that. So the actual <laughs> mechanical gameplay hasn't improved much, uh, which is not ideal because there's a lot of things I need to work out. Um, but you know, sometimes the uh, inspiration strikes for that kind of artwork and stuff. And it doesn't always, it's not always the case for me. I don't always have that energy. Um, so it is, you know, kind of good to strike while the iron is hot kind of thing. Uh, and so I did. And so, uh, what I've got in this video is you can see uh, a capital ship, which is a new feature I'm working on, which are much larger than your normal ships. I'll spawn a um, uh, mining shuttle. Apparently I can't do that. There must have been a bug introduced. Um, but basically these ships, you know, you can probably remember from the smaller ones how big they are. Um, this is a very large ship. And I wanted to design them in a way that made them feel big, they move slow, they you know take time to turn, they take time to charge their engines, they take time to accelerate. Um, and the main feature of them is that they form a support role. So they sit in a higher orbit than the other, other ships. So when you have a bunch of ships, uh, around a planet, you'll have this plant, this ship kind of sitting at an extended orbit and it will provide, um, some kind of like positive benefit to those ships. And if you look closely at the, uh, ship, you'll see there's these eight little cells in the middle and it looks like it's kind of missing something there. And that's because, um, there's going to be a paper doll system and a almost like a character sheet for your capital ships where you can gear them out with specific modules that will give you specific types of buffs. So you might optimize a particular capital ship for a particular support role, perhaps mining or research or, or uh, maybe even combat. Um, but uh, the other thing is, is that you'll only have a limited number of them. And so I think what the goal here is, is that you might end up with, you know, after playing the game for a while, you know, a handful of these ships, uh, compared to say hundreds of the little ships, uh, and the little ships will be easier to manage. They move around quicker. They just do their one task. And these are large customizable vessels that provide benefits, uh, and maybe even actively participate in activities. I haven't really figured that part out yet. Um, but I will now demo my visual effect, which I'm quite proud of. Uh, I will select the ship and I'm going to send it to Venus and you'll see that it is turning around, powering its engines, and taking off. And it just has this big lumbering uh, feel to it, which I really, really, really like. Um, I got most of this done earlier in the week, and then I did not work on the game for the last three or four days. I had to completely rebuild my computer this week. Um, I was having some problems with it a couple weeks back with cooling, and uh, got that resolved, uh, and then had issues with the new cooling system not working inside the case I had, so I ended up just rebuilding the computer um, from scratch. Uh, just built a new system, got the new line of Intel processors that just came out, so I bought, the, bought one of those and I built a new system. Uh, and I just got it up and running late last night, so I really haven't had a ton of time to work on the game. Uh, but I'm hoping this coming week I, I will get more time uh, and maybe start working on either the crafting system, um, which will be necessary for the production of modules, which can be installed in capital ships or the user interface for capital ships uh, and how they'll be configured. Uh, and then sort of ultimately I need to get to the bottom of how do you unlock them? You know, when, how early do I introduce them? I would like to introduce them quite early uh, just because I think it would be, I think it's a cool game feature and I think it would appeal to players and I think that the early game right now is very tedious and boring and I'm looking at ways to improve that. Um, I think crafting is going to help with that because, you know, right now you collect materials and you just kind of sit around and you don't really get to do anything with them until you use them. And I think it would be useful if, you know, you had some way to process them immediately. So you could like turn ore into ingots or ingots into, uh, plates or other materials. And so I don't want that to be a tedious process. I want to be, a, want it to be an automated one. I don't know if I want it to involve ships or stations or how I'm going to do that kind of thing. Um, but I do want it to be something that the player can pay a lot of attention to and uh, make better quickly. 
And so I just have a lot of ideas around that I need to figure out. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for this week. And we'll do one more little spin and take off just because I love watching it. And we're off. All right. See you next week.